A man who was diagnosed with stomach cancer, known as Mr. D, according to the Telegraph newspaper, was discharged from the Royal Bolton Hospital on an August bank holiday weekend in a process described by his daughter as a shambles. He was left sitting in a chair behind drawn curtains for several hours in pain and desperate to use the toilet. He was so dehydrated that his tongue was like dried leather. He was not given sufficient painkillers and so his family had to spend the weekend in a frantic effort to find more just days before he died. Uh, the family claims it was as if the hospital was treating him as if he did not even exist. This is one of the stories on, a, on an article called NHS Shamed Over Callous Care of the Elderly. And this article deals here with the National Health Care Service that was condemned last week over its inhumane treatment of elderly patients in an official report that finds that the hospitals are failing to meet even the most basic standard of care for people over 65 years old. Now, a study of the pensioners who suffered appalling treatments at the hands of doctors and nurses says that half were not even given enough to eat or drink. And one of the family members of a person who died in one of these hospitals said that the maltreatment amounted to euthanasia. So basically an elderly person died because the attitude of the hospital was that, oh well, this person's going to die in any way, so we're not going to feed the person sufficient food or give them a water, which then treat this treatment resulted in the elderly person dying. Some were left unwashed or in soiled clothes, while others were forgotten after being sent home or given the wrong medication. Now, here they've basically done a survey of people who, elderly people who died due to improper care in these hospitals and that the National Health Service came under fire for this. And the problem here is that, you know, this problem has been ongoing for a very long time where the hospitals, the administration board, the managers, the directors, the owners of these hospitals, they are making a lot of money. They are making sufficient money to take care of themselves. The market exists for people who cannot take care of elderly people who have to put them in a hospital or a care facility. So the people who run these hospitals and own these hospitals are not doing it to allow elderly people to live out a dignified ending and have the last couple of years of their life where they're taken care of, uh, where they're fed and washed and so forth. They are doing it for the money. It's just another person who is renting a room and, you know, families, you know, the ones who are fortunate enough, let's call it that, to be able to put an elderly person into such a hospital, Nine times out of ten, you cannot even afford a really good hospital where at least you can say, okay, you know, I can put the person in a good hospital where I'm paying the kind of money where there is sufficient investigation into and management of how the, the person is taken care of. Here, you've got these standard hospitals where elderly people are taken to where the kind of abuse is allowed because it's like a puppy mill. It's a mill where elderly people are taken, they are given the basic treatment and that very fine line between just taking care of the person even if they live or die. It doesn't matter to the people who are managing these hospitals. And I'm not saying it's every single hospital. I'm here referring to the surveys that were done for the NHS to be taken to such a point of now being held accountable and coming under fire. You know, an extensive survey was done and the complaints are coming through of the amount of elderly people that are dying under extreme circumstances of um, mistreatment and in an equal money system what will happen is families don't have to worry about what will happen to the elderly you can at some point take the person whether they are just now aging and require um, extra care or whether they actually have some kind of illness you know um, Alzheimer's whatever the the diseases or you know, problem is that the person might be experiencing, 
the person can be taken to an effective facility where it's not about the people who own it and manage it making money and washing their hands off as if the care of the person is not actually their problem. An equal money system will insist on quality care. An equal money system will take out the greed aspect of which we have become as humanity and such facilities will be a standardized facility where the people who are working in it are part of an equal money system. They are not doing it from perspective of survival and the people who are you know, maltreatment of another being will not exist because you are getting sufficient amount of money from birth yourself to allow you to live out your life in a dignified way. Therefore, your attitude growing up is not going to be if the system, if everybody else, and you don't grow up becoming a bitter, um, nasty sort of person like the people must be who are actually making the decision I'm not going to take care of this elderly person I'm going to not feed this person I'm not going to give them water I can see she just um this person just went to the toilet in their clothing I'm not going to do anything about it I'm going to let this old person sit here in a wheelchair in their soiled clothes for a day you know to get to that level of spitefulness and evil contempt for your work you know, that kind of stuff will come to an end in the money system because everybody will get to an equalizing point where we will all be taken out of survival and it, your basic requirements will be seen to, meaning you will have um, an amount of money from birth and therefore all your living requirements are taken care of. So you are living a dignified life yourself. Then as a society, we we will then work according to what requires to be done and groups will be established that go about and according to the Equal Life Foundation and Equality Based World System such beings will will take responsibility for old age homes, children homes, animal care, hospitals and it will become the dignified life that we live because our basic requirements are taken care of will then become what we do for everyone that becomes an equality based system and the abuse of the elderly and the animals and children you know people who cannot stand up for themselves the beings that cannot speak up for themselves and protect themselves that stuff will come to an end because the people who are managing an equal money system and an equality based world system will not stand for that and you know every single person in an equality based world system will first of all be taken out of survival to get to a point of wow okay I, I don't have to walk around like a sour bitter, bitter person who's in survival anymore now I can actually start considering everybody as myself so the elder person is me and I take care of me as this other being and do what is best for them which is what is best for all so please do your research on an equal money system and start looking at what will that mean for you in the future for yourself for the future generations and for what is possible to be done. Thank you very much.